Yeah, day Monday, 21st of August. Used up the remnant of my safety yellow alkali paint. I had a three quarter of a gallon. Picked up another gallon. Damn stuff, $119 a gallon now. These 5 8 rebar are going to be the anchors for my railroad ties. Still got to pick those up. And came in this morning. If you look up at the dumpster, you'll see some tree branches sticking out. 400 pound limb broke off this tree here and nailed my first two columns. All it did was scuff the concrete block, it didn't break the columns. And you can see they're all yellow. It's going to take two counts to make them look decent. I got the first coat on. I'm painting all four sides plus the top. And, uh, down there at the front, first five, I glued on my traffic cones. And I got plenty of uh, four inch reflectors. And I did the reflectors on the ones closest to the street. Uh, I had enough paint to do the uh, second coat on the top block on that one. But the rest of them, if you look close, they could use another coat of paint. And uh, that's one of those things. Uh, yeah, that 400 pound branch is probably six inches at the base. It's a big one. And uh, cold up the hill and told them they had a branch from their tree on my lot. Could they come down and get it with the fork truck and get it off my lot? give them credit. It took them about an hour, but they sent three guys in the fork truck down here and did that. I'll give them credit for that. Of course, it's kind of hard to miss. Uh, it's at least 16 foot long, 400 pound branch. But I guess I'm the only one that saw it. So, 103 right now. Now, I thought this was going to be easy work. It's 103 right now hit 100 by 11.30 this morning. My truck threw a code. It was nothing. It's a crankcase ventilation filter. It throws the code based on mileage. And I'd already changed it at 50,000 miles. I did, and I had a mechanic shop do it. And at 50,000 miles, it had not thrown the code. But I'm just under 65,000, so it threw the code. So I went by there and they, I showed them it, I did that at 50,000 miles. Yep, you did. And then uh, they went in and cleared the code. No charge, real good people. Uh, Southern Longview Automotive, they're just real good people. They do all my maintenance on that truck. But yeah, they're all safety yellow. Some fool can't see these damn things, they're blind. And tomorrow I'll come up and uh, put on the second coat and then Wednesday I'll try to go early I think I'm gonna need nine railroad ties and the same way I go early Wednesday and load up nine railroad ties in the bed of my truck they will and then uh, I use the Ford truck to set them and uh, then I got my gas powered post pounders to drive the rebar uh, to anchor them. I also bought a pilot drill to pre-drill the ties so I don't split them out. And, uh, so that'd be fairly easy, I hope. But the more I look at these columns, they, they definitely got to have a second coat of paint. That's all there is to it. But, we uh, start loading up my stuff and get toward La Casa. That's all for this one. Hang it.